her name is Rebecca. It was my second summer as a counselor when I had her in my cabin for two weeks. Rebecca was born with a condition where she loses her eyesight a little bit every year. By the time she reached my cabin, she could barely see her hand in front of her face. All she could really see were shadows of things. It got worse at night or when the sun wasn't shining. Towards the end of the two weeks, I learned a lot about Rebecca. She liked doing everything on her own and she rarely asked for help. I think she just didn't want to be trouble for anyone. I chose to belay her on the rock wall. She was excited about going down the zip line, but she had told me that it had taken her half an hour the year before. She wanted to go last because she didn't want to make the cabin wait on her. So I started belaying her up the vertical playground so she could go down the zip line. She got about two feet off the ground and it started to rain. I was a little worried because we have to close down the wall if it starts to lightning and I didn't want her to have to stop. She got about halfway up and she froze. All I could hear was, Claire, I need your help. I can't do this on my own. And so each step, each place that she put her hand, each place that she put her foot, I guided her up the vertical playground. She just kept looking up and never looked down once. She got to the top in 10 minutes. I'd never been so proud in my whole life. She had realized that she couldn't do everything on her own, that she needed other people to help her, and it was okay to ask for help. Most importantly, she learned how to trust God. She's going blind, and she learned that day that it's okay that she didn't have her sight because she knew that people were around her, and she knew that God was always with her. Rebecca went down the zip line that day. She ran back up the hill and she gave me a huge hug and she said, Claire, we did it. Her name is Rebecca and she is Deer Creek Camp.